Mercedes-Benz, the car brand so famous and legendary that people started naming their kids after it. When it comes to luxury and high quality cars, this company is impossible to miss. Now it may have some competition, but Mercedes is one of the oldest automobile manufacturers in the game and no one can change that. A brand full of innovation and inventions, Benz has a remarkable resume in the industry and an incredible story that you definitely shouldn't miss. If we were to put all of the company's achievements in the video, we'd have to produce a whole movie. But we can give you a rundown on its best moments and how it became the icon it is today. Stay with us as we go down the road of Mercedes-Benz's history and its key successes. Mercedes-Benz, which is also referred to as just Benz or Mercedes, was founded by Carl Benz in 1926. That's 96 years ago. Carl Benz, whose original name was Carl Frederick Michael Valent, was born in 1844 in a European city that is now a part of Germany. The fact that his father, Johann Georg Benz, was a driver in rail transport contributed to Carl's love for engines and vehicles. However, he was not able to learn much from his dad as he died when Carl was only two years old. His mother was very supportive and tried her best to ensure a good life for Carl, even through poverty and financial difficulties. In his school, Carl was considered a child prodigy and studied sciences that were above his own grade of education. He eventually graduated from Karlsruhe's Polytechnical School in 1864 at the age of 19. Benz first started out working as a locksmith, learning a lot about the art of locks and making them. Though, ultimately, he came to the decision that he would be happier with a career like his dad's and switched to locomotive engineering instead. In fact, he had already passed the exam for mechanical engineering and graduated high school with a diploma in the subject. After graduation, he spent around seven years gaining work experience in a few companies. After two years of working in the city where he grew up, he eventually moved to Mannheim to work in a scales plant, and later, in 1868, he worked for a company that focused on building bridges. He even went to Vienna in 1869 to work for an iron construction company. You can say that he had learned pretty much anything there was to know about engineering. So Carl felt he was ready to work on his own. With his knowledge in mechanics and a creative mind, Carl and August Ritter, a friend he had made back home, launched the iron foundry and mechanical workshop in Mannheim. Now, this didn't have much to do with cars and vehicles per se, but it was the stepping stone for what Benz would accomplish in the future. The venture faced lots of failure in its first year. However, Benz's fiance came to the rescue, buying out the share of Ritter, who had turned to be a conman with her dowry. Despite a harsh beginning, he did not give up. Benz worked on several new prototypes for engines, like the two-stroke engine which was finished in 1879. While this was a great accomplishment, the most remarkable thing that came out of its production was the standard he designed for engine manufacturing. He patented standards like speed regulation, spark plug and many more. This was only the beginning of his inventive mind though. Even though something huge had happened for Benz and his wife's company, money was still pretty tight. So in 1882, in an attempt to get financial support, they started working with the Bullers two brothers in a joint stock company called Gasmotor and Fabric Mannheim. However, this joint venture was not much of a success either as Carl Benz was not happy with his right of shares or the fact that his creative output was not really appreciated in the company's design process. He left the cooperation just a year after its establishment to again work on his own terms. In 1883, with the help of two bicycle shop owners, he founded a third company called Machines, Benz and Company Rheinisch Gas Motor and Fabric. They started out producing industrial machines, moved on to gas engines and then to something Benz had been passionate about for a long time, a horseless carriage. That's right, he wanted to work on a carriage that was run on engine instead of horsepower. The designed carriages had several new features besides the obvious engines. They had wire wheels instead of wooden ones, roller chains, and a coil ignition. 
While the first prototype of the Benz Patton Motor Wagon was done in 1885, it was not actually released until three designs later with several modifications in 1888. This was a pretty big deal, as it was the first automobile in the history of mankind. His line of work was added to Emil Rogers' products in Paris, who had already been working with Benz from before. Most of the carriages were sold there. Bertha Benz, Benz's wife, had a major role in the advancement of the company. During her famous long-distance drive with the motor wagon in 1888 to visit her mother, she invented brake pads and suggested a gear strong enough to make the automobile climb hills, something it couldn't do before. Her travel was great publicity for the vehicle, and people realized they could use it to visit cities and make long-distance trips. In 1894, the Velo was introduced by Benz, and it was the first automobile manufactured in large scales. By then, the company had over 500 employees. The Velo made its debut in racing in the first ever automobile race in the same year. The next year, in 1895, Benz designed the first ever truck with internal combustion engines. And if that wasn't enough, the company also built the first motor bus that year. This was followed by many inventions like the flat engine, which companies like Porsche use today. In 1909, Benz designed the Blitzen, which was known to be the fastest automobile of its time and won many records. In 1912, Carl Benz left the company to his sons, Eugene and Richard. While the family business was up and running, Mercedes-Benz was not actually established until June of 1926. It started with the first car named Mercedes after the engine, but all cars after the establishment of the company were labeled with Mercedes-Benz. In fact, a total of around 8,000 Mercedes-Benzes were sold a year after the official foundation of the company. Unfortunately, Carl Benz died in 1929, but his legacy lived on, and his designs are still incorporated into today's car models. His creative perspective and innovative persona is also still a major part of the brand. For example, Benz went on to build the first car that was diesel-powered in 1936. Another great contribution Benz made to the industry was the traction control system, which it patented in 1959. The 1981 S-Class was the first car with airbags. More recently, in 2015, Benz released the self-driving Vision Tokyo, the electric van. The company works very hard on everything it put out into the world. For example, the G-Wagon was released for sale in 1979, but it was in the making for six years, going through test runs and constant development. Mercedes-Benz has influenced not only the automobile industry, but its name is widespread throughout the world. Sports, for example, is one of the areas where the brand is really active. Mercedes-Benz has sponsored many sports teams like the German national team or the Formula One driver Coulthard. Besides that, they have collaborated with singers, actors and even magicians like the Dynamo video collaboration released in 2011. Mercedes-Benz was and continues to be a high-end car manufacturer. The company sold over 2 million cars over the past year and even won one of the top spots in the most luxury automobiles in the world. Ola Kalinius, current CEO of the enterprise, has been working in the company since 1993 and has made it clear that Mercedes has big plans for the future and continues to come up with more ways to stand out. It has not been without troubles. Nevertheless, Mercedes-Benz has stood the test of time and is still surprising us with prestigious design and premium quality today. We hope you've enjoyed our journey down the history of Mercedes-Benz. If you liked this video, watch us break down the story of another automobile legend, Bugatti.